Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the Revival Catalyst, which is the brand new creation catalyst of patch 10.0 in Dragonfly. Now this is a Dragonfly version of the 9.2 creation catalyst and it has some changes, but pretty much for the better for the most part. But before we talk about all the changes and updates to the creation catalyst in Dragonfly, I just want to shout out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me stream World of Warcraft, Dragonfly, Dragonfly PTR, World of Warcraft Classic, any sort of World of Warcraft, i from twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. Right, so yes, with patch 10.0.5 launching on January 24th in the NA and January 25th in the EU, along with all of the other changes which are coming in this patch, one of the big ones is the start of the Revival Catalyst. Now, as mentioned, this is a renamed version of the Creation Catalyst, which we saw in patch 9.2, if you remember that. Essentially, the point of this system is a bad luck protection and a system to create tier set pieces from items that aren't already tier sets. So, for example, if you had a helm from Myth plus you can convert that into a tier set helm at the same item level as you can see right here. To unlock the revival catalyst in Dragonfly it's extremely simple. Once patch 10.0.5 launches you want to head up to the seat of the aspects and speak to Stony Tony. Now Tony is going to give you a brand new quest to head over to the revival catalyst and activate it. Now you only need to do this quest on one of your characters and this will send you over to the location of the revival catalyst which is just to the left hand side of tier hold when looking at it. Uh, you can drag and ride over there very very simply from the Seat of the Aspects and from Valdraken, so you don't have to go too far to get your tier sets. So the items that are eligible for this are essentially just Season 1 items, so you have Mythic Plus loot, you have Great Vault loot, uh, Raid loot, uh, PvP items, actually Epic items from the Primal Storms are also available for this as well, and Epic War Mode gear, so a ton of items available from all walks of life. Uh, unfortunately Crafted gear will not be available to convert into tier sets though, so that's kind of the big one that people are a little bit upset about, uh, but other than crafted gear, pretty much any gear from Dragonfly will be able to be converted into a tier set piece. Now to use this system you need to get catalyst charges. These are at a limit of six per character and you can get these weekly from a quest. Now this is the big difference here with the creation catalyst. So the way that this works is that there is a weekly quest which is actually a count bound weekly quest. You can do some on one character and some on another and that quest actually continues to carry on throughout characters uh, which is really nice so you don't have to just do it on your main you could do it on your all or whatever right. So the point of this is to fill the bar to 100%. Now to do this you need to do group content in the Dragon Isles. Now after a little bit of testing we kind of have a little bit more information on what that group content actually is and what the percentages of doing all that is. If you're primarily a solo player, don't worry too much because there is ways for you to do this. There's two different methods you can do this, uh, which do take a little bit longer, but they are doable. So one is killing very specific rares at the elemental invasion events. Uh, now, when I say very specific, it's essentially any rares from the stormed off achievement. So keep an eye out for any elemental storms on the Dragon Isles and, and go and kill those rare NPCs. And that'll give you 5% per kill. As mentioned, this is going to take a while. Another way of doing it is actually doing the Dragon Isles world events. So the siege, the soup, and the hunts. Now the hunts obviously can be continually farmed, so this is going to probably going to be your best bet. Uh, you get 10% from each of these activities. So essentially 10 hunts, or 10 sieges, or 10 soups, or whatever, you can mix and match. Uh, but essentially you're going to be able to get 10% from those Dragon Isles world events uh, when they do come up. Unfortunately, queuing in for normal mode and heroic mode doesn't seem to give you any percentage. At least that seems from the testing. It's really hard to test on the PTR because those dungeons are actually closed, but we're just assuming here, and it seems like a pretty safe bet that those won't give you any percentage. Normal mode definitely doesn't, but I can't say for sure that heroic doesn't, uh, but I guess we'll find out once the patch launches. But for players that do enjoy group activities, there's a ton of different ways you can gain percentage on this quest. So the first one is actually doing the raid. For every boss that you kill in the Vault of the Incarnates raid, you get 25% towards this quest which is really good. Uh, for each mythic dungeon or mythic plus dungeon you get 25% as well for completing that. And if you're a PvPer you can do battleground, solo shuffle, arena matches uh, to get percentage as well. That was confirmed by Brian Halinka, one of the World of Warcraft devs. Uh, we don't know what percentage that is. It's speculated between 10 and 25% per win of those PvP activities. So essentially if you're doing any group content in Dragonflight you will be gaining percentage uh, towards this quest. Now once the quest is complete as mentioned you will get a account-wide catalyst charge. Now once you get one of these this actually goes to all of your characters on the account and all your future characters. So say you got it on your hunter uh, you could log on to a warrior and that will be there too. Now these can be used per character as well so if I created a tier set helm on that hunter 
I could also create a tier set shoulders on the warrior. So once you gain those charges, you gain them on all your characters, which is really nice. Uh, this is also a limit of six per character. So at any one time, you can only hold six charges, which is quite a lot and you get one a week. So you could store them on other characters and have like, you know, a brand new, ooh, and it will already have six charges if you've been building them up over time, which is really nice. So you can get one a week from this weekly quest and you can use those on your characters to create brand new tier sets. Things like sockets and extra stats do also convert over when creating tier sets, which is really nice. And with PVP gear, it will also convert over the item level change of PVP gear as well, which is really nice. So to finish off, I just want to let you know some things that won't give you a percentage that I tested personally. World quests don't give you any percentages. World rares don't. So as mentioned, it is just these kind of like elemental storm rares, which will give you a percentage. Uh, low level dungeons don't, even though that quest will pop up on your low level characters. The low level dungeons do not give percentage, unfortunately. Uh, heroic and normal dungeons, as mentioned, don't seem to give percentage. And group dragon races, which I thought would be group content. Apparently not, so that doesn't count either. So pretty much just kind of your standard Mythic Plus raid PvP stuff, along with the odd rare thing, and the Dragon Isles world events will give you a percentage towards that weekly quest which you want to be doing. So that is pretty much everything with the Reviver Catalyst in Dragonflight. Let me know down below if you're excited for this feature. I do think it's a little bit late, but it is nice to see it finally coming into the game uh, after all this time. So yeah, looking forward to that coming on the launch of patch 10.0.5. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you liked this video, please do leave a like on it and subscribe if you haven't already. That'd be very much appreciated. If you want to support me outside of YouTube, I also have a Patreon, or you can go follow me on Twitter. Uh, I also have a Discord as well. If you want to check out my Discord, all the links are down below. Uh, and as mentioned, I am now streaming on twitch.tv slash Mr. G. If you want to see me streaming World of Warcraft, Dragonflight PTR, testing all the things, testing everything, and having a great time over there. So if you want to check me out and stream, twitch.tv slash MrGM. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.